What up, what up, world? Welcome back to another Pop <coughs> Dust exclusive. I'm your host, Decent, and my guest at this time, massive legend, mm-hmm. international superstar, a genius of sorts, you can say. He has a new single out featuring the legendary Beanie Man called Sugar. Ladies and gentlemen, BIM! Up there. Give it up for Stone Boy. <laughs> Respect, man. Bless up. The one guy that's in the place right now, so better. Yeah, keep it locked. Don't log off. There, yeah? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm great. I'm amazing. I'm doing Blessing, well. you know. Looking yeah. like money, looking like life right now, man. Looking like natural resources, like I say. Money can deplete, you know? Yeah. But resources don't go. I mean, Interview just started already. He dropping in. <laughs> so, man, new single level with Beanie, man. Yeah. One legend and another legend oh, on the same track. Sh- I feel like it's long overdue. Absolutely. Tell us how the whole collaboration came about. I sent him the song. I met him in Jamaica. We vibed, you know, a couple of times. I think two times in Jamaica we vibed. And then I went back home to, to cook a record that would make sense, you know, to the people. Owing that I wanted to still continue to get my blend of Afrobeat and reggae and dance all together in one pot. Mm-hmm. Because I always believe that it comes from the same source. So if I am from the source, then I'm privileged to be able to veer into all these dynamic genres that, yeah. you know, so that's why I put all these three together easily because they're all from the same source they can fit. So we cooked one Afrobeat and dance all rhythm with melodies that could catch. And then we put, we are the girl them sugar, same time are the girl them banana. And Beanie Man blessed it and here we are today. You know, big tune, big record, number one song in Ghana right now. This song is huge. It's huge. huge. And this is a dope song as well. So it's huge. Speaking about the roots of all those sounds that you embody, do you feel like it's easier for you than it may be for other artists to kind of dip and dive out of, you know, Afro beats, dance hall, mm-hmm. reggae? Yeah. Because to the untrained ear, mm-hmm. each one is its mm-hmm. own thing. Absolutely. But you're able to kind of Merge move, off through, through, move through, you know, and if yeah. you want to be dance all your dance all. If you want to be, be reggae, you reggae, you're reggae, reggae Afro you're gonna be, Afro you know, and if you want to combine them all, you combine them all. Yes. Like, do you feel like it's easier for you than it may be for other artists? I would say that I've been at it for years when it was not even really recognized to this point where reggae, where Afro beats can be blended with reggae and dance all easily. But that's what I saw. That was what I taxed myself with mm-hmm. from the onset when I realized I could do this. I realized that, okay, I loved and I'm inspired by these three. How can I put them together? How can I create a style that would be unique, that people would actually, um, that people would actually believe that their time and their money is worth the, su- the, the, the support mm-hmm. that they're giving to me? And lo and behold, you know, I started this when I was 16, putting out songs, trying to find my path, trying to find my voice, trying to find my stand. And I, over the years, when the understanding came, or when people started to get that understanding of the blend and began to enjoy it, you know what I mean? It gave me more strength to continue to do this. Because now, I even find people like Busy Signal will jump on an Afrobeat rhythm and bust straight. Elephant Man will do so. You know, people like that, um, DeMarco, I began, I began to realize that I'm not of this. I'm not the only one with that with that ment- mentality, mentality to yeah. try to connect all from all the genres together. But some people want to do it also, you know. And I'm doing it from the African side as well. So now, so it's never been easy. It's never been easy. Mm-hmm. It's like a task. It's like it's a it's like a task and a half. Yeah. Because you now have to combine all these three. If I was just Afrobeat, I'd just be looking to Afrobeat. If I was just reggae, I'd just be reggae. Mm-hmm. And if I was just dancing, I'd just be dancing. But I had to master these three. Yeah. And actually, I'm known in all this space. But you also have to please the audience <clears throat> exactly. of each, and also exactly. you have to make sure that the artists who pave the way in each of those genres yeah. also don't feel like you're making a mockery or whatever True. it is Never. that you're trying to do. Never. Like Speaking of which, when you talk about the sound in totality, mm-hmm. over here in the mm-hmm. States, you know, the Afro beats, you know, mm-hmm. the, the reggae, the dancehall sounds kind of 
been the wave in the last three or Soka, four years. Even yeah. Soka, well. even Soka, you know, it's become, you know, the, the term here, it's, you know, tropical pop. Mm. So wow. I feel like, you know, wow. as somebody, you know, of, you know, Caribbean descent, you yeah. know, somebody who's yeah. grown up with the music, you know, somebody who's listened to Afrobeat, Soka, you know, dance hall, mm-hmm. reggae, their whole entire life. I feel like now the sound is being, you know, taken and people are misappropriating the sound and mm-hmm. making it sound like something that is actually not and calling it a whole completely different thing. And you talked about the music being tied to roots. Mm-hmm. How do you feel as, you know, not just an artist, but an African artist and so many things originating from Africa? From Africa, yes. How do you feel when people kind of take, you know, certain things that they're not aware of? And in the creative industry, those that get to do the hardest of work don't really get to get the the, the biggest of reward. Mm-hmm. Most often there's only a few that can actually have their hands on everything and reap what they really, really, really deserve. But um, no, I mean, I feel like it's, it's part of it. Yeah, it's it, part of the game. It's part of the game. I definitely understand your yeah. standpoint from it, especially as somebody who's, you know, come from a country where so much has been taken yeah. throughout the course of history. Yeah. And to be in a position that you're in right now, to kind of be this ambassador for mm-hmm. all these different mm-hmm. styles Dragons, of music. Yes, yes. Yes. And, you know, even an ambassador to Ghana, so yeah, to speak. True, true. How does it feel, you know, being like still so very young, despite the fact you've been yeah. putting in so much yeah. work in the game to be looked at as a legend in a lot of sorts, because I feel like mm. we can throw that term around a lot, yeah. but I feel like if we look at your track record, mm. we look at your impact, and we yeah. look at just your overall contribution, not just to the music, but mm-hmm. to the people, yeah. you know, you're definitely bar none up there with a lot of legends, so how does it feel? It feels really good to represent for us, you know, so that we can know the powers that we have you know, especially although we're musicians, but we should remember that that is the easiest way that information can go into the mind through the subconscious. Right. So then, and that is what we have to put the vibes. So whilst you're dancing, you're jamming, There's a message. when you take a step back, you realize that, oh, that's what it's teaching me because mm-hmm. I learned a lot from music as well. Right. You also have your own foundation. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of artists that make, you know, dance hall reggae so good that is all rooted in people mm. you know and yeah. knowledge and love but you actually taken a step further and curated something outside mm. the music to mm. sustain your legacy and to help others yeah. who may not be as fortunate as you how the whole foundation come about like everybody else have gone through life and faces um face certain difficulties so on the way up as i go now i know that no matter what there's something i can actually do once and twice to help people in that situation, you know what I mean? Because the tiniest support can mean a lot. So that's why I put on the foundation to be doing all these things, you know? Each one help teach people. one. Yeah, each one teach one. Because I need help as well, mm-hmm. but I can only give it to get it. Yeah. It's like Jay-Z said, I can't help the poor if I'm one of them. Yes. So you're actually a very, very charismatic, <laughs> yeah. very, very, you know, lovable individual. I feel like Come people, on. you know, <laughs> who interact with you in a lot of interviews that you've yeah. done and just people that you've seen mm. just like off of the humble, they gravitate towards you. And true. you've also been able to take that mm. charisma and apply it to acting. True, true, so, true, true. Can we expect to see more of that from you? It comes with the music, because remember that when I do the songs, I have to now go do the music, music videos. videos. I have to do interviews. I have to speak. I have to talk. So definitely, I, I can have, I have to, I can interpret that into acting, but representing for the right, yeah. not to just gain more popularity, but to use that in the right way. So like I always tell my team that if they start writing movies about great, great African leaders and great African stories, I would want to play a role in that. You know. I mean, you're kind of starting to do that, yeah, you know, as a person. Yes, exactly. So it wouldn't be too off brand exactly, yeah. if you did it at this point. But I definitely feel like you would be somebody that would really light up the screen, be it Absolutely. even in an African film or even yeah. something that's produced something, yeah, here. Yeah. Who are some of the people that you're looking forward to working with who are new in the reggae, dancehall, Afro beat scene? I mean, new people are springing up every day. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. They're bringing different spirits into the thing and you you know that yo you can connect with them so anytime i i catch one of those and i feel like we should do a thing together i reach out i don't mind even if they're not up to 
what level they're looking for, I reach out and some of them reach out to me. But people who are like above there that we all see, I mean, I always say I'd want to do a thing with Rihanna, you know. That's one of the names that will come up on my mind any day. So if she's watching, Rihanna, if you're watching, you yourself, you know, say that. Hit him up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> IG, we're we, we going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. I would like no, 5% though, because yeah. I kind of no, like... No, 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 I'll give you 10. Come on, man. I mean... I, I can give you 20 if I'm broke. I say, bro, can you hook me up? It's the same thing. <laughs> so, do we get an album soon? Because yeah. you're, we know you're very, very good at you know giving us projects, giving us, you know music you know on top of music on top of music but are we going to be able to get a full project from you in yeah. the near future yes i have two more singles to drop before the year ends after the one on the 12th then we're going to drop an album god willing in february 2020 so that's the plan you know we hope that it comes to pass awesome awesome you know I mean? <laughs> there's any closing words you want to give the people message you already gave <clears throat> us so much yeah, yeah, me see them clearly now, looking for reasons to take me down, ignorance plus envy now, anyhow, bless man, bless for my long time, when I can't touch me, man, a sunshine, we're burning, we're falling the night and we rise in the morning, only if they knew ooh, that we are a CTA. They will never dig us down, down, down. Watch out, you don't know what that storm we're representing from Ghana. It's up with there. One God. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Storm Boy. Make sure you grab his <laughs> new single, Sugar. That's out with Beanie Man right now on all streaming platforms. My name is Disa. This has been another Pop Dust exclusive. Yo, yo, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And also, make sure you visit our website, popdust.com, and follow us on all social media at popdust. We will see you soon. Peace.